racks now ready here in the test data center. We've got the three heaters already mounted. We've got our SP2 Plus up there uh, with the LCD displays, the SP2 Plus LCD. Uh, we've got our sensors connected up. So we've got our thermal map sensors, um, which are going to monitor the temperature in at the front. Now, obviously, we don't have any containment yet, so our inlet temperatures are 30 degrees because I've got the heaters running, so we're heating up the room right now. Our containment will be installed next. Um, the LCD display is running through. Uh, currently, this rack's consuming 8 kilowatts. Um, we've got a temperature in of 30, and we've got a temperature out of 38. So we just adjusted the thermostats, etc., on on these um, um, heaters to maintain kind of 38 degrees at the rear. Uh, so we've got three heaters here. Each one can be controlled individually and they're all going back to this um, breaker panel. So at this breaker panel, we've got our power meter, which is monitoring the voltage, the current, the frequency per phase, uh, kilowatt hours and um, um, kilowatts per phase. Uh, we'll take a look in AKC Pro Server in a moment how we're displaying that data. And then we've got our breakers here for a main breaker and a breaker per phase as well. The three fans are all plugged in and coming up through a uh, brushes in the floor, uh, which are at the rear of the rack, and then coming through brushes that we've got at the front, and then distributing out to each one of these. Now obviously in a real um, server setup, your power distribution is all gonna be at the back, um, and you wouldn't be running the power down the front, but what we have here is, you know, we're simulating the servers with these space heaters. Each space heater is nine kilowatts, so running at full pelt, we can get 27 kilowatts out of this one rack. Um, so the power meter is connected back to our SPX Plus here on the Modbus input. Uh, you can see also on top of the rack, we've got our sensor status light, so we can show um, the status of the racks. Once we configure that, we can show a status of red, orange, and green, uh, depending on the uh, critical situation that we have here in the data center. And on this particular rack, we've also put in our um, sensor probe wireless tunnel. So the thermal map sensor is actually uh, connected to this wireless tunnel sensor, and we're broadcasting that data back to the uh, control room where our um, SPWTS, that's the wireless tunnel server, is located. So this is one rack already set up. We've now got to repeat this work another seven times for the other racks, and then um, we'll be ready to run our full test. We've still got the air handling units to install and the containment. So I'll just show you the progress that we've got so far on the air handling units. If you come and take a look over here. So this area is where the air handling unit is going to be installed. Um, we are preparing now to put in the condensation pump. So we have a drip pan here, which will be underneath the air handling unit. That will collect any condensation that's coming off of the units, and it will run down through this pipe here. We've got a small condensation pump, and that's gonna pump um, any condensation water that we have back out into a pipe that we have running under the floor and into the wastewater system outside. And then coming in, we have our hot and our cold. Um, sorry, we have our um, cold coming in, our hot going out. Um, pressure sensor, we'll have another pressure sensor mounted here. And these are our quick connects. They're just going to be cut to size and um, connected up. So we've got a little bit of work to do here still uh, before we move the air handling units into position. Um, but hopefully within another five days, we'll have the air handlers in position. We'll have our containment all in place. And we'll have all of the racks all set up with the power and uh, we'll then be good to go. We'll be able to start running our first test. So here we are now in the control room where we're bringing all the data back and displaying it here on AKC Pro Server. I've already configured one rack. This is the rack that we've already got operational. Uh, so you can see uh, here on the rack, we've got our uh, um, rack outlet temperatures. We've got our inlet temperatures. You can see each of the heaters that we've got mounted inside the rack. So basically we've created a digital twin of everything that we have there inside of the data center so we can view it all here. We've got our swing handle locks that we can um, lock and unlock from user interface here. Uh, we can spin this rack around so we get a front view. So there's our SPX and here are uh, each one of our heaters and we can see the number of kilowatts each one of these is using as well as the total number of kilowatts being consumed up here as well. 
So on the right side here, we then have all of the sensors, their status, and we have graphs of the inlet and outlet temperatures. Um, our inlet temperatures, as you can see at the moment, are quite high. That's because we don't have any containment. Right now, all of the hot air coming out the back is mixing, and so probably some of it is getting sucked back in there at the front. Um, so we can drill down to this. You can see now on the floor plan, this particular rack is displaying as hot because our inlet temperatures are hot and our outlet temperatures are also um, warm. So uh, once we have our containment in place, we should see this rack changing from being red to a more reasonable color of somewhere in the green um, um, colors. So then we know that this rack is, is not overheating. Um, and then, as I say, we're gonna replicate that work to all of these other racks here. So we can get a heat map of the data center um, and you can view that in 3D as well. So we get this spin aroundable map. So you can see here uh, which ones of our sensors are actually in the critical status. So our um, lower sensor here, as you would expect, cold air sinks. So this is still normal, but the hot air is rising. So all the hot air that's coming out of this rack at the moment is rising up to the ceiling and it's probably getting sucked back in at the top. So we're seeing a very high rack inlet temperature at the top here. It gets slightly cold in the middle. And at the bottom, we're somewhat normal. Um, this will all change. Once we have the containment in place, we should be seeing nice cold air coming in at the front and just uh, the warm air coming out the back and it's all staying inside of that contained area. So that's it for today's update in the data center. I'm looking forward to showing you the progress in another few days when uh, we should have all of these racks all turned on and um, set up here in the server software and hopefully as well our containment in place.